Oh shit, I did it again. I hit the off button by mistake, and now I just hit the on button by mistake. I wasn't ready yet. Shit. Alright, well, whatever. Since we're here, now, I did watch a little bit of this just now. I'm not going to play the whole thing because I don't want to take away from the views that they're going to get. All things comedy. All you got to do, do like I did. Something's burning in your search engine. Search it up, and you can pick your video. I would start from the beginning. But, here we are. I saw you arrive at this site and have not seen you wash your hands. I was going to wash them right now. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is the first time I've ever washed my hands on this Yay! show. I wish at strip clubs they did eras of women. So they'd be like, ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for Martha from the 1800s. <laughs> just unshaven, just, oh. And she lifts up her bloomers, like, oh. You know what I mean? Burning bush. Yeah. Have you ever had a stage. male lap dance? Oh, absolutely, yeah. They're aggressive, huh? Uh, I, at first, I think it was called Olympic Gardens or something in Vegas. or something garden. Oh, geez. Olympic Gardens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you went upstairs, huh? Yes. So at first I was hesitant. You know, there's like glitter and wetness and a little sweat. And so I was kind of like, I don't know. But then I found a man that I liked and I was like, and again, please, I'd yeah. love another lap dance. What is a lap dance from a man? Does oh. he sit on your lap? No, yeah, no, 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 and he no, no. also they picks you up and your face with his uh, cock. Yeah. yeah. Just smash. <laughs> it was a lot of over me gesturing, sexual things, and then picking me up and like spinning me around and lifting my legs up over my head. Yeah. Also, I just recently won the Chippendales chip shot. I was in Vegas for the Comedy Cellar. We went to the Chippendales show afterward, and I got up and I competed against other women. And I won. Doing what? We had to see how fast we could dress a Chippendale, which is counterintuitive. Yeah. Okay, so you had to put all their little things on them as fast as you could. Yeah, to pretend his husband had just come home? Yes. They're all gay. <laughs> then they are all gay. Yeah. No, 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 actually, that's not true. The only two of them were. Yeah. We found out. Well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and then we had to give them a lap dance, and the third one was reenact our favorite sex move. Reenact your favorite sex move? Yeah. Wait, what did you do? I just ran and jumped and wrapped my arms around him, oh. and he threw me on the ground, and then I lifted my legs out like this and shook them. That's awesome. Yeah, it's all available on Instagram. <laughs> really? Yeah, the woman, oh. you're, there's no cameras allowed in there, but the woman who runs it, she's like the, what do you call her, the den mother? Um, That's a Cub Scout thing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah it is. The Girl Scout leader? She took it and then sent it to me. She was like, I had to videotape it. Oh, That's great. Oh, yeah, I whipped, out, I whipped out a handstand into a split into a man's face. There was a moment where we were all sitting on the edge, and a woman came up to give a lap dance to a guy sitting in front of us that we did not know. And the minute she gets over his shoulder and is just looking at us, she was like sexy, and then she's over his shoulder, and it was like this. Yeah. <laughs> And it was like the dead eye looked at me, and I was like, yeah. somebody help her. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. This is dark. I always like to see how they dance, because you can see what went wrong in their childhood. It's like an interpretive <laughs> dance of their bad life. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. like if she's if she leans over and does like a perfect back walk over, you're like, oh, dad never came to see a gymnastics class. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> like sums up me at Chippendales. I was like, look what I can do. <laughs> We Is this a wife. cooking show? I'm sorry. Hey, guys, it's another episode of Something's Burning. My guest today, Greg Fitzsimmons, best selling, both writers on the hit show Crashing and amazing stand-up comics, podcast guests. They're fucking phenomenal. I'm so lucky to have you guys on. Thanks and we're me. sober today. <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sober this month. You drink, you party. Yeah. You, we definitely partied. Yeah. And you, you, but you can... No, I quit drinking many, many years But you, years you ago. can smoke weed, though, every now and then, right? Once and again. He's high right now, I would imagine. <laughs> So that's what the the show is a cooking show. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do a reaction to a full episode, but I don't want to fuck Bert over, so I might not. I might not do that. But anyway, in the spirit of podcasting, let's continue on. Fighter and the kid. I found these guys not that long ago. Brian Callen, Brandon Schaub. Callen's a stand-up. Schaub is now a stand-up, but used to be an MMA fighter. So these guys bounce very well off of one another. I think this show is pretty funny, too. So you get these dudes... 
Let me just give you a sample of what they got going on. Oh, hey, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Aww, happy happy holiday. Holiday. Look away. Look away. They're not paying me. Look away. Ah, oh, it takes so long. Not really, but it feels like it in the moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. man. Man, Wednesday, and you spilled coffee all over your white, crisp shirt. Some it call that that's matter. fashion, bro. Sometimes a little, some brown spots brown on spots. your shirt. Not brown spots on your undies, but brown spots on your shirt looks good. That's why you always wear dark undies. Tip from a pro who has shit stains. Hey, my uh, friend, my friend, uh, one time decided he'd fart uh, at my friend. Right, so we're in high school. My friends lying down, and he he goes ah, runs out. High school, you mean ass. last year? Yeah, yeah, and he throw and he farts at him. Problem is when he farted at him, he farted too hard. And a thin line of brown drizzle poo. Dust. Hit my friend on the cheek. Oh, wow. From the cheek. All right, that's enough of that. Of course, the one intro that I do pick is completely disgusting. What else is out there? We did Burr. We did Burt. No, we didn't do... Bert Cass, this is the show that I was telling you about, specifically, Open Tabs. Where I got to kill Sweet. Wi-Fi is fucking up. Either way, what he does is he goes through his tabs during the week of everything he opened up on his internet browser. It's a really fun podcast, man. I enjoy it. And like I said at the end, he hits you with some music. Hey, guys. It is Open Tabs. My name is Burt Kreischer. I am taking my pants off, and I'm doing this week's episode pantless because... The state king, Paul Baldwin, got to 5,000. This is tough, man. I feel like I'm trying to get laid in the back of a Jetta. Paul Baldwin got to, if you see my junk at all, Halston, blur it out. Right. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. And they're off. And we're off. How do you feel? I feel fine. I don't mind being naked. You look like Tommy Pickles. Who's Tommy Pickles? From the Rugrats. Oh, thanks, oh, I guess. He's a kid that doesn't wear pants. Oh, I feel like Tommy Pickles then. <laughs> uh, we're doing it pantless because uh, <clears throat> because Paul Baldwin got to 5,000 followers on Instagram. Thank you, everyone, for following him. And this is my promise to you. We got a great open tabs this week. NPR came up with their top 50 albums for the year, and the top 10 were all women. Old meathead mouth breather over here fucking reared up at that. No, bros. Come on, man. And then I listened to them, and we're going to review those albums, and they're pretty fucking good. I might have found my new favorite artist. And I'm going to need you guys to hit me up with some great Southern rock artists. It, it awakened everything. This whole NPR thing awakened everything in me. And me- All right, now I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want to spoil the show if you decide that you want to check it out. I'm trying to think of what else is there that I listen to on a regular basis. You got the Mark Marin What the Fuck podcast. I check his shit out. We did Coco's, Burr's, Open Tabs. Burtcast, obviously, is just a regular podcast, but you can download that, Burt, Burt, Burt dot com. Um, I think I covered everybody. I'm pretty sure. If I am forgetting anything then I will go back obviously and I will add it on but real quick I just remembered something and then completely forgot it oh my god this is gonna kill me I have his face there it is Another comic, Vic DiBetetto. 
He does vignettes. In other words, short videos. Ticked off Vic. One of the really good ones. I'll give you a classic. I was subscribed on my phone. Hey. Switched a couple of phones ago, so I have to fix that. But hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, Vic DiBattato. Hey, you know what ticks me off? First of all, as you all know, for people who live in the New Jersey, New York area, we got a couple inches of snow. So this morning, I figured let me be a nice husband. I'll clear off because Lucy had to go to get get a facial and a manicure right. and a pedicure, you know, for her birthday. Anyway, she deserves it. So I figure, honey, I'll I'll take the snow. Well, I clear the car off. I warm it up, defrost all the windows. The thing is, her car, she's got a, a Volkswagen Beetle. You got to start it with the button, the push button. Oh, and my boy's got one of those. I took her keys with me in the house because, you know, I put the push button. You, you push the button. You, you don't, these are obsolete now. You put them in your pocket. So I go in the house, she takes the car, and I get a call. I'm at the, I'm in the parking lot, where are my keys? You have my keys? Because if I shut the car off, I can't get back in. So now I gotta go and bring the fucking keys! <laughs> I'm about to take a nice shit, and I gotta bring the fucking keys because there's no fucking technology! Forget about the fucking button! Bring the keys back! Put the key, you put it in the ignition, you turn it, and the keys are always fucking with you, these fucking car manufacturers! With all... Folks, you have no fucking idea. This fucked up my whole day. God forbid her schedule gets interrupted, but my schedule gets fucked up. I'm the fucking donkey. I got it. I'll bring you the fucking keys. Hope I hit a fucking tree and a fucking deer at the same fucking time. <laughs> He's fucking wild, dude. But, you know, before we get off Vic, this is one of the classics. I'm sure somebody has showed you this. If not, let me be the first to introduce you to... If you live on the East Coast or anywhere where there's snow in the ground, people get wild, man. They go fucking crazy. And that is the heart of what this fucking vignette is. I gotta get the bread and milk. 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 Oh my god, I gotta get the bread and milk. I gotta get I gotta get the bread and milk. I gotta get the bread and milk. They said snow! I gotta get the bread and milk! Oh my god! I gotta get the bread I gotta get the bread and milk! I gotta get the bread and milk! Oh my god! <laughs> He's fucking crazy, dude. But I enjoy him a lot. I enjoy him a lot. Those are, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Before we go, before we go. One of the newest additions to my podcast listening, Joe Button Podcast. Now you can do this on YouTube or you can listen on Spotify. But you see how easy it is to find it. Six Flags Holiday in the Park. Ah, uh, shit. Look away. Look away. They're not paying me. Look away. Or don't, because it's going to pause up. My Wi-Fi sucks. Either way, dude, you know, these guys pretty much keep me informed of what's going on because I have no idea what's happening with rap music nowadays, dude. Long for that. No, but it... I don't think that that I'm going to have a long that talk with that nigga when it's so Life as is I short, though, Life no. is short. I so why the fuck long. why the fuck this nigga liking every, every one of my girl pick picks? It's too many. You know, you know, you know who her man is, so there should be a like limit. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, no, it depends, so I it take it as pictures. A, the, Those are specific. Nigga, I'm gonna have a long talk with that nigga's face when I see him. <laughs> with his face. Honestly, 
Okay. He the only nigga's fucking icon I could recognize from far. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean? That should be trash like, when what, you The know. little circular yeah. icon. It's yeah. you, like Kodak. Kodak. Like Kodak. Hey, fam, why are you liking all my girl pics? Did I like fucking Adrian Balon's pics when you was all <laughs> <laughs> running up and down the street? Maybe you did. So there's that, man. Check out Joe Button Podcast. I mean, like I said, if I'm forgetting anybody, I'll come back on and I'll add them as I go. But, I mean, I can't show you the bonfire. I can't show you uh, the Bennington show because that's all serious XM shit. Uh, you know what? Let me take a quick look in my subscriptions. Maybe there's somebody I forgot. Let me real quick look through and see. I gave you Bert, Fighter and the Kid, Bonfire, Bennington, Rogan, Joe Budden, Big D Potato. Oh, yeah. And, um,. Jim and Sam show. This is another serious XM deal. And I forgot the bonfire does this too. I would show you, but I can't figure out how to fucking find it. But these guys put up interviews that they do <clears throat> on their YouTube page. So you can see what this is all about. Now, hold on. Let me give you your screen back one last time. Give you a little bit of this. Uh. Oder and Sam. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, buddy. I'm actually hitting the buttons today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very Is that nice. Soder? Yes, I'm the designated button pusher. It's going well. Um, what's up, buddy? Nothing, man. I'm whoring myself out to promote a new special. That's what I'm doing. When are you airing? When is it first? When does it come on? I knew you shot one, but I didn't know it was airing yet. It um, came out yesterday on Netflix. Oh, congratulations! Uh, what's it called? It's called Walk Your Way Out. That's great, dude. Oh, is this hey, you just and by the way, year, but this is basically what it's all about, man. And real quick, let me see if I can pull up. Bonfire Comedy Central. So you guys have an idea of what the show is all about. Now, this is where I got the idea for the podcast that I did with the Sex with Spirits doing a deep dive into what they were talking about. But let's do this. I love this show. Look away, another commercial. I know it's getting old, me saying that, but what do you want me to do? They're not paying me, man. Shouldn't give it to them for free, right? There's a boy, Soder. Check out Billions on Showtime if you have it. I really enjoy that show. Soder's on there. Big J. Okerson, Legion of Skanks, he does. Got a Netflix special out. Uh,. On the Degenerates. Also got a half hour special. Well, that's what it is. His half hour special. I think they have hour specials both somewhere on Comedy Central. I don't have cable, so. Said she banged a bunch of poltergeists. That's close. It's pretty cool. That's like a <laughs> sex island on a different astral plane. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's sex like dimension. A, I want to marry and start a family with a ghost. Is she British? Yeah. Of course. But, juicy. Look at um, yes, the met. ghost wearing a lot of ruffles and uh, oh, did very it, dusty did it look buckles like, on his shoe. Was the ghost possibly wearing a powdered wig? <laughs> yeah, does he have like a position like Cantor or something like that? <laughs> this is a real presence in your in your life. You're a spiritual guidance constantly. You're used to this sort of thing. You open up channels to the other side. I guess oh, none of these ghosts. I, I guess none of these ghosts are gay. That's why he's letting them walk around with that hair. Yeah. Oh. oh, and he goes, you open <laughs> channels to the other. The side she goes i guess you could call it that <laughs> <laughs>
Now look, man, that's that's what it is. That's what it is. They give you snippets of the show on YouTube. But I think that's pretty much everybody that I listen to podcast-wise. But I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to do this last week, the week before, whenever the fuck it was. I don't remember. But I've been so busy with putting out reactions, listening to your suggestions, and all that shit. I never got around to doing it. So I wanted to do it now before I forget to do it. And show you guys some of the cool shit that I like. So, crackle, crackle, all the campers out there, everybody that's into Bonfire and Burr Kreischer, Bill Burr, Joe Budden, the Fighter and the Kid, Joey Coco Diaz, at Mad Flavor on Twitter, you know, all that shit. Shout out to all those guys. But, alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Because I gotta go do some shit around the house. But keep an eye out. New content is always gonna be coming up. So keep your eye out for that. As always, thank you for the suggestions. Everybody that's subscribing. We're up to over 60 now. Huge deal, dude. That is monstrous that we would even get to this point. I know a lot of people are like, dude, wait till you get to like 100 or something to make a big deal about it. No, it's a big deal right now. It's a big deal right now for everybody that's here. That's what's up. Appreciate it, man. I'm going to keep putting content out. And, you know, the channel is going to grow as it goes. I know it's still in its infancy, but we're working shit out here, people. So with that being said, let me get the hell out of here.